Hello, this is another note in our series of um, showing applications of GRIB files and GRIB file viewers. And here, we here I want to show one of the really powerful features of OpenCPN. Uh, OpenCPN. We've been using uh, XYGRIB to show the GRIB files themselves, and XYGRIB is still a good place to get the GRIB files. But what I want to look at is uh, combining those two programs, and let's look at the, uh, and I want to illustrate this, uh, this uh, o uh, image, uh, georeferencing imaging project here in uh, OpenCPN. So you, where this is the WeatherFAX plugin, we actually have several videos on the use of this. Uh, but now I, I'm just putting it all together here. And then you go up here, retrieve, and then internet. And now I'm going to look at, uh, let's say, a surface analysis. Uh, let's see, which one would that be? Maybe here, then, then Atlantic. And then let's look at the color one. Now note, it's not, it's not a check mark here that matters. Those are uh, cancel. That has to do with uh, scheduling something. The, what you're downloading is the one that's highlighted. It has nothing to do with check marks here. So that's a selected one. And I'm going to say uh, download that one um, and say yes. Um, or, OK. What, what it's telling me is I did a test before loading this up. And uh, I had already downloaded it, and it's reminding me that there's no, the map has not changed since then. But look and see here what happened. It just loaded, the, it went online, got that map from the OPC, geo-referenced it, and plotted it in the right place. So that's the map we want to look at. And let's just say we're going to look at this region here. And we want to, what we're after really is, in a sense, not, we want to use this map to evaluate the GRIB files, the, the model forecast, the GFS forecast. Because the GFS forecast is the one that's the easiest to use for routing and for, and for just general weather work. It's all digital and so forth. But we can't just randomly use that GFS without confirming it in some way. And one way to confirm it is compare the GFS to what these human meteorologists did when they made this map here. So now let's get the GRIB file. And OpenCPN does not really have a very, uh, it's better to get the GRIB files a different source. And so we'll go right back over here to uh, go back over here. And then all I did was uh, in here, just I drew this region and go to square. Where is that square here? And draw this region here. And then say, get the data. And I put GFS and, you know, get the, uh, like we have in the other videos. That's all I want. And then I say, download it. And then uh, that's that, cancel. And then I have, oh, okay. Then I have already downloaded it. And it's sitting right, uh, GFS, it's sitting right here. So now then, I can come back. I've got the GRIB file. That, and that literally took a, the amount of time that you're looking at right there. That's real time, essentially, although I've done it just before. Now I go here and I turn on the GRIB viewer, uh, the GRIB function, and I'm going to go here. Oh, I wonder if it's, oh, wait a minute. Now I go to the folder. I think it's got the right one already. And here's the one I want, GFS. Uh, let's double check. Let me just double check. Yeah, that's today. This is the one I want and say open. And there it is. Okay. So now what we've got is, oh, and then at this point, it's probably better to check things. Let's go here and look. This is February 4th, 12 Zulu. That's the map. That's the GRIB file forecast we're looking at now. The zero hour forecast is essentially, or is actually the surface analysis. And then this map here that we're looking at here, you see that's valid 12 o'clock uh, Zulu on the 4th. So we've got, the, we've got the first things right. We've got the times right. Now we can compare these two. And that's, that's what the exercise is. And look at the isobars. Isobars are pretty close. The orange ones are on the map. Now remember, uh, 
frontal systems n never plotted on the on the model output and strangely we don't really see much effect of these fronts here on the wind flow sometimes you'll see a very marked uh, uh, shift but you notice that there's no kinks in the isobars here normally when uh, or often when the isobars go across or a front goes across here it'll make a, a big kink in the isobar so these fronts are you know um, you know maybe they're not that demarcated in the temperature we could look at that in other ways but and we'll look at it in another way in just a moment but anyway there you see it looks like the GFS is a pretty good uh, indicator of where the isobars are and um, and so forth and so that's the comparison is off a little bit here and so forth Okay, so let's do one other thing. And now, again, I'm not doing much analysis here. I'm just looking at the data. We've got to study it and do the science here, you know, before we make a decision, a, a weather decision uh, ourselves. But now let's look at something else. Just to show the power of this technique, let me go now to, um, let's say, NOAA, NOAA, and then we're Boston. And let, I think, uh, yes, okay. I want to look at the satellite overlay now. Um, and we want, okay, this one. That's a 12 Zulu, okay. And then download that one. Uh, no, download selected. Okay, again, it's telling me I did this a minute ago and it hasn't changed. But you would not get this. Uh, it says file array, uh, use existing, yes, okay. So, uh, there you go. Now you see the other, this interesting way you can look at things. Now you see the clouds compared to the weather map. And again, that's, you've got to check the clouds up here. That's 1230 Zulu, 1230 Zulu. So that's, that's as about, you know, as close as we're going to get. So within a half an hour, this is the map and these are the, the, the clouds and, um, Again, I'm, we're not analyzing what's going on here, but there's some interesting things. There's actually two fronts. We know that there's two fronts in here, and I'm guessing that they're not very strong fronts, but there are there are definitely uh, uh, fronts, um, and the and the fronts have packed up the isobar. See, we've got 25, 30 knots of wind in this area, so there, there's a very strong winds, but that's because the isobars are packed up. Okay, so that's the demo of this te powerful technique. Um, the only other program I know that, well, Expedition does this just as, just as easily, if not easier. Expedition is a program, a commercial, a popular PC program for navigation. It will do these automatic overlays just like this one. And, um, and uh, I believe QTVLM will also do this, but those are the only ones I know about.